The gates for Modern Warfare 2 have well and truly been blown open with the reveal trailer and even campaign gameplay. We know a lot about the game at this point with a ton of classic Call of Duty modes returning, but one of the biggest questions and a factor that I know a lot of my subscribers consider when pre-ordering or getting a new Call of Duty game is that game having a zombies mode. Now, we saw with Modern Warfare 2019, there was not a zombies mode. However, there were some weird plans at some point for there to be one. But as you've read from the title, Infinity War, have confirmed that Modern Warfare 2 will not feature a Zombies mode. This is the first time in nearly three years that we won't see a new Call of Duty Zombies iteration. This is only the second time Call of Duty has not launched with a Zombies mode since 2015. Now I know to some of you it's going to be disappointing news to not hear that Zombies will be coming with Modern Warfare 2. And as we dive into this video I'm going to give you a few reasons why of course this is disappointing but at the same time whilst this also has some very positive aspects to it. I'm also be diving into what is going to be replacing zombies as the co-op experience in modern warfare 2 and what this could mean for the future of call of duty zombies as a whole now to most people getting modern warfare 2 it's going to be pretty obvious that this won't feature a zombies mode but i thought i would cover it as infinity ward recently confirmed this in an interview the response was almost instantaneous with the fact that there is no zombies mode now again it might seem obvious but cast your mind back a few years and infinity ward created their own zombies mode in infinite warfare which you might think wasn't all that successful but some really interesting tweets came out last night from the project director for Infinite Warfare, Brian Bright, sharing that after seven months of Infinite Warfare being released, the split of zombie players to daily multiplayer players was close to 60% for zombies to 40% for multiplayer. She points out never happens with any other COD game with Treyarch zombies pulling close to 20 to 30% of total players. He goes on to say after DLC 4, the split was even more in favor of zombies to multiplayer and IW. So say what you will, but it had staying power that you did not expect against multiplayer multiplayer. And the only reason why a sequel to Infinite Warfare Zombies didn't arrive in Modern Warfare 2019 was that there was new leadership at the studio for that game. They didn't want to step on Treyarch's toes on zombies and thought shooting AI soldiers in co-op would be fun, which is where Brian Bright, the ex-project director, retired. He also added that Extinction also did much better than Advanced Warfare Survival Mode did as far as percent that were playing versus multiplayer. But Exo Zombies did better than Extinction when that came out, pointing out that players like the predictability of zombies and just don't find shooting AI soldiers and co-op fun. I thought this was a really interesting thing to add here into the video to see insight from someone that worked at Infinity Ward and what the mindset is like when making decisions like this. Now a few years back where we were getting zombies every single year with a new Call of Duty game I never would have ever thought that zombies needed a break but with the recent iteration of Vanguard zombies it is so clear how when Treyarch is stretched in so many different areas they just cannot produce the zombies mode to the quality that they are capable of and want to deliver. It's crazy to think that Cold War Zombies could have been even better than what we got, which was really dang good if they didn't have to develop Vanguard Zombies halfway through the cycle of Cold War. If we want to have a really good Call of Duty Zombies mode, then we've just got to give Treyarch time. And that is exactly what Activision are doing this time around. Treyarch will not be releasing a new premium Black Ops game until the end of 2024. So they have over three years to develop their next game and develop a full flesh Zombies experience that deliver on our high expectations. It's the first time in probably forever where it's a good thing that we're not getting zombies. We really do need a break. When Zombies does return, it's going to feel even more special and be even more exciting. Being built on the same engine that Modern Warfare 2 is built on, so it's going to look, sound, feel, and play amazing. So what is going to be replacing Zombies in Modern Warfare 2 this year? Well, Infinity Ward are developing a new Special Ops mode, which has been their traditional third mode in the past. Now, we don't know too much about this mode at the moment, but they have described it as an evolved Special Ops mode, which sounds like it's going to be a lot better than what we got with Modern Warfare 2019. This is also going to feature a new advanced AI system and is described as a tactical co-op mode where you can play with two players, advancing your team building skills and also sets the scene for the near endless hours of gameplay available within the multiplayer. Now that description doesn't sound like it's too deep but we are going to be getting a full reveal for this with its own dedicated trailer and blog post a little bit later down the line. Now Infinity Ward have a lot to prove with this special ops mode in Modern Warfare 2 as the Spec Ops mode in Modern Warfare 2019 was universally panned. They tried so hard to really take an ambitious idea of creating a open world dynamic experience which you and three players took place on in a wide variety of maps around Verdansk where there were multi-stage experiences 
which unfolded and what on paper sounded absolutely incredible. But when this launched, it was underdeveloped. It was buggy. It was incredibly difficult. And because of that reception, a lot of the player base just ignored this mode entirely. And I guarantee pretty much 99% of people that have played Modern Warfare 2019 will not remember this mode at all. Maybe they didn't even play it. And it's such a shame, as I know a lot of the developers that were behind Infinite Warfare Zombies were creating this mode and were super passionate about it. The problem here is that everyone expected to get those classic Spec Ops missions that were in the original Modern Warfare 2 and 3, which people loved so much. They loved replaying to get those three-star rankings were essentially bite-sized chunks of little mini missions that you would have seen in the campaign but you could play entirely in co-op and with modern warfare 2019 we got less than a handful of those across all of the seasons and it was clear that support for this section of the game was dropped very quickly the mode did improve as the game went on but because of warzone's release all focus was switched from co-op to warzone and we never got any new content so i really hope we don't get that scenario again with Modern Warfare 2. And let's not even get started on Special Ops Survival Mode, which is supposed to be a return to the survival mode that everyone loved in Modern Warfare 3. It was exclusive to PlayStation 4 for an entire year, and it was a shell of its former self. Now, so far, we don't know if Survival Mode is coming back, and I honestly wouldn't be surprised if we didn't see it. But if we did, I would love to see it heavily expanded upon so that it felt like the Modern Warfare 3 Survival Mode that people know and love, or just create something entirely new which is fun to play and didn't feel like something which is created at the very last minute now on top of everything we've spoken about there is potentially something even bigger and more exciting looming as the third mode for modern warfare which is entirely separate from special ops we've had confirmation that a new sandbox mode is coming with more details coming soon along with the warzone 2 play space there have been a ton of leaks surrounding modern warfare 2's third mode called the d MZ, which is set to be an Escape from Tarkov inspired extraction game. Now there are a ton of leaks and rumors surrounding this mode but with nothing officially confirmed we've got to take everything with a little pinch of salt. But if this mode is real this has the potential to take the gaming sphere by storm as this is an Escape from Tarkov themed extraction style game mode where players will load into a map and must battle both other players and AI before extracting loot which can be used again or sold. That's right I did say sold apparently this game mode will bring a marketplace with tradable items with other players what makes this style of game so appealing is that in escape from Tarkov, anything you take into the raid will be lost if you die meaning taking higher tier loot comes with a higher risk reward and that is also supposedly true with the dmz many believe this mysterious sandbox mode that call of duty have been hinting is this DMZ mode. And some leaks and rumors suggest that the map for this game mode will be the same map that will be within Warzone 2. According to leaks and rumors, you'll be able to earn skins, blueprints, and more from the DMZ that will be usable across multiplayer and Warzone 2. And again, anything earned can be bought and traded, which sounds very similar to Escape from Tarkov, where players can buy, sell, and trade their loot with other players. It all sounds crazy, and this really could open the doors to a brand new third mode under the Modern Warfare umbrella that we could see for years and years to come. But of course, it's not even confirmed. We don't know if this mode does exist or not, and if it does, there's a chance that it might not go anywhere. But from what rumors and leaks are saying, the developers really want Want this mode to succeed so however you look at it yes we're not getting zombies this year or next year as we apparently aren't getting a new call of duty game in 2023 but what we are getting in replacement is a classic two-player special ops mode and the potential of a huge escape from tarkov experience and when infinity ward are flexing their new ai systems where they can apparently have 100 players versus 300 ai i'm sure they're going to put that ai to some good use for some really cool co-op experiences let me know your thoughts below and check out another mod Modern Warfare 2 video on screen right now. Click it. I'll be with you in just a moment.